The Yellowstone country. Big rivers and high mountains. Something you've never seen before in your life. Right here. Boiling water that shoots 100 feet in the air. I think Carson's been taking some of that snake bite medicine. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said, amigos. Hot water a mile high. I saw it too. When El Toro and I leave here, we're going to map those boiling geysers for the United States government. Yeah, I understand you can sell the government a bill of goods on most anything today. Toro! Pancho, what are you doing here? Looking for you. Your uncle Manuel is in trouble. What's the matter? The feud with the Hernandez family has broken out again. Your uncle is in great danger. Amigo, my uncle is in trouble. I must leave. I'll meet you in the Yellowstone country. Perhaps you can find someone else to help you. This time it's my turn to help you. Come on. his friend Kit Carson and Pancho. Save it, they're too far away. I must see who my uncle is. Tio Manuel. Oh. Where's Tia Maria? Your aunt is upstairs. Senor Carson, you have come at an unhappy time. What's all the shooting about? I'll tell you. The Hernandez family has started an old family feud up again. Your uncle Jose was ambushed and killed, and your cousin Juan was wounded. Terrible, Uncle. What started the feud? The Hernandez family are distant cousins of ours. Ever since the family first came from Spain, there has always been bad blood between us. But now something else has happened. My grandfather died in Mexico City and left me some money in the family collection of jewels. The Lopez collection. They are real heirlooms in the family for generations. Nobody knows their real value, but they are worth more to the family in sentiment. But now the Hernandez family wants the inheritance. They claim they are the rightful heirs. My grandfather would never leave them to the Hernandez family. He knew that they would sell this priceless collection and squander the money on dissipation. But didn't your grandfather leave a legal will? See, the will has been mailed to the judge in San Felipe, and the jewels and money are arriving here by special messenger. Well, in that case, the Hernandez family can't expect anything. You don't know them. They will stop at nothing. We'll see. Come on, Toro, we got our job cut out for us. Pierda cuidado. Gracias. Who is it? It's me, Judge. Pete Wills. Sit down. This is a will. A Mexican will, leaving certain heirlooms to a certain family. I want you to copy this and change the name of the family. Can you do it? It's a cinch, Judge. But you have to give me this kind of payback. I've already arranged that. Oh. What do you want me to change the name to? From Manuel Lopez to Pablo Hernandez. Okay. I'll get you the materials. Oh, 
Why, there's El Toro. Buenos dias. Good morning, El Toro. I didn't know you were in town. I came to visit my uncle. You know my friend, Kit Carson. I've heard a great deal about you, Carson. This is my daughter, Janet. You remember her, don't you, Toro? She was, she was just a little girl. Carson, I'm glad you're in town. We've been having some trouble. Maybe you can help the law. I've heard about it, a bad feud. I've seen the like in Tennessee. Exactly. I'm anxious to have this stopped. Well, I agree with you, Judge. I hear the fault lies with Hernandez family. Well, yes and no. You know how feuds start. A quarrel in a bar, a couple of people brush against each other in the street, a few hot words. It's, it's hard to tell exactly. But this one seems to be a little more serious than just a few hot words. Yes, that's right. Well, maybe the whole thing can be settled with the reading of the will. You have it, of course. Yes. Uh, but it's sealed. I, I can't open it until the probate date, which is a week from today. Then you don't know what's in it? No, of course not. I'll read the will in probate court to the interested party. Senorita, I cannot tell you how happy I am to see that you've grown into such a beautiful flower. I know about you, El Toro. Perhaps you'd like to know more about me from my own lips? Perhaps. My father's heart is always open. Gracias. I shall come and call. Well, we've got to be getting home. I'm glad to have met you. I'm sure we'll meet again. I hope so, Judge. Good night. What beautiful eyes. Yes. You know, I can't understand it. The judge said he's anxious to stop the feud. Yet he's not going to open that will for another week. See, there is something funny about that. Yes, in the meantime, what happens to law and order? That's enough of that. I want to talk to you, Pablo. You'll excuse us, Janet? Why, yes. Sit down. Take a look at that. This is wonderful, and it looks authentic, too. So far as the world knows, it is authentic, Pablo. What you do, do the other will, the real one. That, my dear friend, is still in my strong box. But why? You must destroy it. Oh, no. That's my insurance, Pablo. I must remind you of our arrangement. When the family of fortune arrives, it's to be divided equally between you and me. But you have the word of a Hernandez. I'd rather have the other will. Senor, I cannot understand you. If I'm going to marry your daughter, if you're going to be my father-in-law, still you distrust me. I've been a judge for a long time. I've seen many strange things happen, Pablo. Well, let's play it my way. Besides, you'll have to make the others in your family understand. Well, that is easy for some. Another thing. I want no more bloodshed. There's no need for it. When the messenger arrives, I'll read the will in court. We'll all be divided equally, and that will be the end of the matter. Understand? Perhaps, senor. I too would like a little insurance. What do you mean? The whole Lopez family is no more. Nobody can inherit the money and heirlooms but us. Now listen to me. The nephew, El Toro, is in town. Bueno, it'll be just one more to get rid of. That isn't all. He brought his friend with him. Kit Carson, he's no man to fool with. This Kit Carson, he is human, isn't he? I suppose he is. But he's not stupid. But a bullet can kill him also. I wonder if it isn't something more than just money with you, Pablo.
Thank you, my dear. Janet, I'm worried about Pablo. He's hard to control. I'm afraid he's a born killer. Oh, he's hot-headed. That's his nature. He can cause you a great deal of trouble. Do you see this drawer? There's a secret compartment under here. If anything should happen to me, this will be your safeguard. It's the real will. And I'm hiding it here. I understand. Come in. Good day, gentlemen. Judge. Well, I know you gentlemen have business. Excuse me. Now, what seems to be the matter? What seems to be the matter, he asks? My family shot down like dogs. My amigo and me ambushed. Is there no law enforcement in this town? Just a minute, Toro. I heard about that unfortunate shooting. The marshal is working on the case. We have a good idea who the assailants are, Judge. Who would you name? The Hernandez family. Who else? Have you any witnesses? Do we need witnesses? You know about the feud. You can end all this bloodshed if you just open that will and read it. Well... All right, if you think it'll really help. Sit down, please. It's written in Spanish. My Spanish isn't very good. Suppose you read it, Toro. I hereby leave and bequeath my property consisting of a hundred and five pieces of jewelry to the Hernandez family and such cash and property as I... Mira, the money and jewels have been left to the Hernandez. That's that. Your family's been left out in the cold. I do not believe it. My uncle would not lie. I'm sorry, Toro, but it's written here in his grandfather's own handwriting. May I take this to my uncle? Oh, no. No, I shouldn't have even let you see it. Well, let's go, Toro. I'm sorry things turned out for you this way, Toro. Thanks, Judge. Muchachos. Tío, how do you feel? How can I feel with those murderers roaming the streets free? We just left Judge Coleman's house. We finally opened and read the will. Si, si. According to the will he showed us, your grandfather left everything to the Nandes family. It's a fake. It's impossible. Please, Uncle, do not excite yourself. But I tell you, I saw my grandfather face to face only a year ago. He promised everything to us, and he would never go back on a promise. Certainly, he would never leave anything to the Hernandez family whom he mistrusted. That's what I figured. Something awful fishy about this whole business. But the will, it looked real. Yes, it looked authentic, but I believe your uncle, don't you? See, I know my uncle is telling the truth. And that will must be a fake. There must be two wills. But what are we to do if the court awards the inheritance to the Hernandez? What can we do? The collection will be broken and sold for gambling debts. Do you have any idea when that messenger will arrive from Mexico City? I'm not sure. Uh, tomorrow or maybe the next day. Toro, I think you and I shall ride down and greet that messenger. See, that would be a friendly thing to do. All right, out with the guns. Throw out the strong box. Open it.
I have it. Good. Keep the rest, gentlemen. Sorry to bother you. Everything's been stolen. What? The Wells Fargo messenger just got into town and said the stage had been held up by two masked men. Bandits? I wonder. He said that only the valuables in Mexico City were taken. The rest of the money in the strong box was left. Well, that's very strange. Not to me. You say El Toro and his friend are in town. They're the sort of men who would do this. They wouldn't dare. It's grand theft. Besides, I showed them the will proving you to be the heir. Fool! This is why they do it, don't you understand? I can't believe that Carson would be that suspicious. I will gather the members of my family and break down the doors to the Lopez Hacienda. No, I have a better idea. I'll issue a search warrant. You and your legal ideas. This is my search warrant. At least a million pesos. How beautiful they are. We have the collection now. They'll never be able to take it. Oh, wait a minute, senor. There's still the will and there's still the law. If that will is read in court, the Hernandez family will legally own these jewels. But you said yourself that possession is nine points of the law. Right. We only borrowed these jewels to keep the Hernandez family from selling them. What we've got to prove now is that you own them legally. But how? El Toro and I are going to take a little ride. Wrap these up and put them in a safe place. Si, senor. Son amor mio, don't you recognize my voice? Who is it? I know it isn't Pablo. How can you forget me so soon, Janet? You who are my only true love. Come to the door. All right, wait. Come here. How can you consider a man like Pablo Hernandez when I am available? There's nothing wrong with Pablo. Like your uncle has visitors. See, si, and I do not like it. Happy to see you again, gentlemen. Underlay.
Well, Senor Carson. Got one shot left, Pablo. My nephew, you have restored the honor of our name. And you, senor, have restored the family treasures to their rightful honor. I can never thank you enough. Oh, it was a pleasure. Besides, I didn't want you to think that Judge Coleman was typical of the law in this country. I understand, senor. Success to your Yellowstone expedition. Oh, I'd forgotten about that. Now it's your turn to help me, Toro. Let's go. Adios. <laughs> 